after my 10th game in the NBA, I finally showed my, how can I say, passing skills. I finally showed that, you know, I could become a true point guard in the NBA. And it seems like the Rockets are kind of going in a different direction. It seems to me that they have been making a lot of moves and a lot of trades. But I will say that they've made an awesome move that I didn't even anticipate. A little birdie from the Houston organization told me that they were actually looking at another point guard to be their main focus. And they said, you know, I was great. You know, I was kind of athletic, but they needed somebody that would be able to spread the floor and shoot the three. Now, my friend told me about this guy named Chris Smoove. He said, you know what, man? He may be the face of Houston after you leave. And I said, you know what? I give the dude big ups, man, if he could take this team to the finals. Because I'm going to the East. I'm ready to catch a flight. I'm ready to go to Philly. And I'm ready to take the Sixers to the top. So let's see what's going to happen in this press conference. You were really showcasing your passing skills out there tonight. Getting double digit assists for the first time in your career. What was your game plan going in that led to your setting up your teammates so well? My game plan was to show the Sixers that I would be able to become a passer when I went to Philly. I know Drew Holiday has shoes that's hard to fill, but I'm here to take on the challenge. You know, I feel like I can score at will, but it really takes a special kind of player to be able to get his teammates to score at will too. I was hitting guys right in the hands all night long, and it was so nice to see them converting. So nice. Now, after the media was done interviewing me, I, as I was walking out backstage, another person was walking in. You know, I finally met Chris Smooth for the first time. And, you know, he said, big ups and thanks for the minutes. I said, no problem, man. Good luck taking your team to the finals. I'm trying to take this flight to Philly. Now, my trade has been requested and has been approved. It seems like I'm a 76er now. Let's get this season popping. <laughs> On November 21st, 2011, a star was born. Philadelphia finally picked me up from Houston. Houston told me that, you know what, we're not going to put you on the bus. We're going to let you use the team jet one last time. We're going to let you fly out on our dime. And as I went to Philly, it seems like I got a lot of love and a lot of generosity thrown my way. But back in Houston, I heard that Chris Move was making an uproar and that he was getting minutes himself. Let's see what I do in Philly and see if I can take this team to a winning season. Here, what's going on everybody? It's Apa King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Before we get into my first game as a 76er, I just wanted to show you guys how bad the defense is on NBA 2K12. The reaction time is very late. Um, in this next clip, you're going to see me pull up for a jump shot. Just look and see how long it takes Drew Holiday to actually react to me actually shooting. Now, watch this clip. It's very childish. Look at that. Crazy. All right, you guys, um, I'm on the Dallas Mavericks game right now. Um, it's my first time as a Sixer. I would have liked to play in Philly for my first game as a 76er, but you got to take what you can get. Now, um, I do have an announcement to make. Um, the reason why I haven't dropped the video in a few days is because I actually had came down with like some type of cold or something. You know, my throat was killing me. So I'm doing this calm, fresh off, you know, you know, a uh, nice little cold. I was drinking a lot of tea, getting it popping. But let's get straight into the gameplay. All right, here I'm basically going to use Terry. So easy. Look at that. Look at the reaction time. He couldn't even get a hand up. <laughs> That's how nice I am, man. Like 2K is just too funny this year. Um, I'm just going to keep doing what I do. Look at that. 
He fell for the pump fake and he got he got owned. Like what what do you want me to do? Now this whole quadruple single thing, I ain't into that. I don't live that life. I ain't worried about this dynamic goal. We just I'm gonna just keep playing basketball. Now check out this double team right here. You know, check me out. Oh, that's that's how you play defense, man. You gotta call these double teams, man. Real talk. If you guys want your team to help you out, you gotta call these double teams. Oh, check out Houston. They six and four right now. <laughs> All right, check me out on this fast break. You know, you know, I had to dunk it. Come on, I wasn't gonna lay that up. Why? Why would I lay that up? <laughs> All right, as I'm calling for the ball right now, you know, I'm getting kind of frustrated a little bit because Drew is just doing whatever he wants. Now let me let me pass off to my man Thaddeus. You know, check out that backboard J shooters roll. Good looking Thad. Now, what I do want to tell everybody, check this out. Check this out. What what is J Kid doing? Why are you pulling up from all the way back there? Why you ain't pass the ball? You just gave me the easiest slam cam of my life. Look at me rise. Mm, too easy, man. All right, I'm subbed in that point guard, you guys. So you know I got to show off my skills. Why not let my man Thad get this uh, nice little layup in the paint? My assist. It ain't about nothing. All right, check me out. Off the pass. Who's open? Who's open? Who's open? Up. Oh, Iggy's open. I'm not passing it to Iggy. I'm passing it to my man Brand. As, as he got the gold 10. Check out Ellen Brand's face. Is that Ellen Brand? Seriously, is that him? I don't think that was Ellen Brand. <laughs> now. Thaddeus, this that's my man right now. Um, I can't say enough about Thaddeus and um on the Sixers. As long as he, me and him, is in the game, it's like we doing one thing. You know, um, me and Thaddeus probably got like three assists each from just each other, and as well as you know him really doing work and being on the hustle and grabbing the double teams and helping me out if I get beat. You know, it seems like. He's the person that, you know, has my back on his team. Everybody else is more, like, nonchalant, like, oh, well, he's new on the squad. We ain't worried about him. But let's get into the halftime. Now, check out Dallas, man. They are 8 for 17 from 3. What the fuck? Like, come on, 8 for 17? Why are you shooting all these threes? Like, that's that's uncalled for. But, excuse me, I don't know where that came from. But check out me and Thad. You know, we doing our thing together, like I said before. But check out what... J Kid and Dirk is doing three too easy. Look at this three. Like yo, listen, this dude is raining these jump. Look at this three. Like why? Why are they shooting so many threes on NBA 2K12? Everybody can shoot threes. Like it shouldn't be that deep. Like yo, Amari hit threes. The White hit threes. Bosh hit threes. Like come on. Like this is this is so unrealistic right now. I think it's something wrong with the three-point sliders because that's wild. But check out Detroit, man. They one and nine. I'm sorry for you guys, man. Salute to y'all. I don't know how you doing it, Gordon. Also, you know, Skola, he went to the Wizards. My man from Houston, you know, he had to part ways with the team as well. He couldn't do it over there. So, you know, he getting 30 over in Washington. Why not? Now, oh, the Lakers beat the Grizzlies. Wow. Okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, the Hornets beat. I mean, no, the Hornets lost. Oh, sorry, Hornets. Sorry, CP3. You're bad. I guess Steve Nash got you. <laughs> All right, I'm back at shooting guard. Drew Holiday is doing his thing, so, you know, I ain't going to call him on nothing. You know, he keeping us in the game a little bit, but I want to do something too, man. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play my offensive objective, get my little nice little screen. But guess what daddy is do? Oh. Get down, Terry. Oh, my Lord. Boy, sit down. That's wild. <laughs> well, let's get let's get into what um, Karan do to me. Now, as I'm going to get back on defense, look at that. I felt like a sucker when I did that. I, I, knew, I, I knew I wasn't going to be able to stop it, but dang, did I have to get kneecapped in the chest? Like, did that have to happen to me? Like, yo. <laughs> like, I should have been injured. My collarbone should have been broken or something. Like, come on. All right, here is 79-77. I don't know how Beret missed that, but I'm going to grab the rebound and take off. I don't even care. Like, that was his mistake. I'm going to link up with my man Space real quick, hit that jump, get the shooter's roll popping because, you know, we up. Let's go, man. It's tied up right now. They want me to play it smart. I'm not into that. I just want to play the game. There's too many dynamic goals going on right now. 
But all right, it's 81-79. I'm trying to play the best defense of my life. Now, check out the person that's in the corner. Look, my arrow is still stuck on him, but why is Karan wide open? So, you know, I had to play defense, you know. Why not? I had to save our team. Now, check out this. Check out this this crazy isolation that Drew did. Like, I'm waiting for the ball, but he just said, you know what? Berea, like, four inches shorter than me, so why not? Hey, I ain't had no problem with it. I said, do your thing, man. I ain't got no problems. They sub me out. It's all good. I ain't got no problems. As long as I had more than 20 minutes in the game, that was cool with me. I salute. You know, um, we won the game. Um, what else can I say? I'm glad to be a sixer. Uh, also, number 15 is in Philly now. <laughs> it's about to go down. Let's get into the press conference, man. And that'll wrap it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan, and thanks for tuning in. Pretty big change of scenery for you moving to a new team. How much of an adjustment period is there going to be before you're comfortable here? Man, I'm more than comfortable. Man, it ain't like I just moved to a foreign country where I don't speak the language or something. We all still playing basketball, right? Sure, it won't be perfect at first, but even tonight we were already clicking pretty well. I'm not worried about getting comfortable, because as far as I'm concerned, I already am. Yo, he feel me so much, yo. Like, I answered that with the utmost. Like, that's me right there. Like, that's wild. But, yo, this is IKC signing out. I just wanted to thank everybody for sticking with me. Um, I will come up with another video and a couple tutorials. So, peace. <laughs>